Hey guys, Dean Newland, CEO and founder of Mission Facilitators, where for 30 years we've helped leaders, teams, and their organizations grow their people, clarify their visions, and execute on their plans. So how do you prevent a toxic leader from even showing up in the first place? I think there's about four things to pay attention to. Number one, if you've got a toxic leader who's been around for more than a half a year, three quarters of the year, maybe you're part of the problem in that you've got a culture that allows this kind of behavior to persist. So start looking inwards towards your culture, not just, not just towards the person at issue. And when it comes to culture, set that up intentionally to make sure you have value statements, guiding principles that really clarify the behaviors you need in order to be successful for now and in the future. Uh, you also need to make sure that you hire appropriately and you set expectations up front, onboard them, letting them know what's acceptable and what's not. Give them the coaching, give them all the tools that they possibly can to be successful, but make it clear up front what's tolerable. And then last but not least, when it comes to feedback, we all got to get better at that. The reason why toxic leaders are so tough is because we have a hard time giving negative feedback, especially with people who are very strong and who do not accept it. So we have to get much, much better at creating a culture of continuous feedback.